collect it, collect it, collect it. Something or someone has changed. I'm getting like reluctantly changed something. Um, I don't know if this is a good thing or a bad thing. I have no idea. Let's see what's going on. All right, we're going to start out with the red oracles. Y'all know these messages are for entertainment purposes only. I feel like I feel like it's a person and I feel like they're like very wise this person's a much older very wise person it could be as simple as say for instance this, this could be your father right so maybe it's a male and you've been asking your daddy oh you know maybe Maybe you're in high school and all your friends have planned a trip and your dad could be overprotected because of the things that they've been through. This is somebody who's been through something. This person's seen a lot. There's nothing that this person hasn't seen. I don't know who I'm picking up on, but it ain't really nothing that they have not seen. And so, if you're the child, you could probably not understand where they're coming from. You know that old saying, oh, you'll understand when you have kids yourself? You could think that this person's just being overbearing or too protective or something like that. So... This is an example, okay? But you got to take it how it resonates. So your friends done planned the trip. And you really want to go on this trip. But say this trip is hours away, okay? Say you got to fly or something. And your daddy's like, no, no. Mama can't talk him out of it. Brothers and sisters can't talk him out of it. He done said no and that's it. Reluctantly, I feel like this person, they're giving in. So, if, in, in that case, it'd be a good thing, okay? So, let's see, y'all. And then he might even not just say yes, but maybe something extra. Yeah, you can go and you can stay an extra day. Or, yeah, you can go and here's an extra $50, buy yourself something. It's something like that, y'all. Because I'm getting, this person is very protective. And when they say no, that's, that's what they mean. That's what they mean. Okay. So let's see. What's going on? For the collective. For the collective. Maybe they saw the look in your face. Cause you know, maybe I'm picking up on a daughter and a dad, right? But it's something about when the daughter look at the dad, the eyes. It's something about the eyes. And it just... Maybe they really want to say no, but when they saw your, like, disappointment or your... Something like that, okay? So, we have, oh my God, flexible. This person is being flexible. Because I'm picking up on someone who's very... This is either an emperor or, like, a king of swords, when they say no, that is what they mean, and that's period. But with this flexible card, okay, and then you have the fates. So, this is given, something was destined to happen. I don't know what it was that made this person change their mind. Because we're dealing with somebody who has seen a lot. You see that little stone? I'm, that's just what I'm getting. So this could be somebody's dad. This person could be, um, I don't even think that's a word. Stickler. <laughs> I don't even think that's a word. But you know what I'm trying to say. Like, when they say no, they mean no. They stand on what they say. And I'm getting, like, a very protective person. Okay? And it's because of the things that this person has seen in, in their life. This person is older. But with this flexible card. Okay. All right. Now, unfinished symphony. Hmm. Treasure Island. Maybe you're getting ready to go on a trip or something. I don't. I. I have no idea how this is gonna resonate with y'all. All right. Here we go. Someone could be a musician. I see this piano here. The black and the white keys, Ebony and Ivory. 
Maybe someone's name is Ebony. Maybe someone's name is Ivory. Something like that. I'm just getting like, and that's probably why I keep picking up on like a daughter father. I'm just picking up like someone is, there's a lot of, someone could be in their 20s, someone could be in their 60s. So someone in their 20s sees things totally different. Okay? They're more carefree. They take risks and things like that. But someone in their 60s, they didn't live life and they didn't seen a lot. Okay? So there's there's an energy of bridging the gap or like coming to some type of understanding or even just agreeing to disagree. I don't know. I just feel like somebody being flexible. Okay? This could be you. You could be the parent. And somebody could have been asking you to do something, to go somewhere or whatever. And you could have been like, no, absolutely not. You're not going. Don't ask again. If you ask again, you're going to be put on punishment. And then something comes through in this person's life. Okay. You can go. I trust you. Okay. I told you. I told you I was picking up on the emperor. Now, this, yeah, they're very stern. They mean what they say. This, and I told you they're very wise. You see the gray hair on this person? This person is very wise. They've been through a lot. They've seen a lot. And, um, how, what did they say on that movie? He said, the Titans, they ruled with absolute power. Y'all remember the movie, Remember the Titans? This could be a woman. Man or woman. It just, when they say what they, that's what they mean. And a lot of times the emperor is a father figure. It's either an authority figure or a father figure or a business owner. Could even be an entrepreneur sometimes. Sometimes it can be like a divine masculine. But in this in this reading, I'm picking it up like a a, a father, like an authority, father, father figure. Okay. might not understand where this person's coming from because I, I feel there's a gap this woman right here you could be this could be the daughter of this person so 20s 60s when this person was doing things times was times was different things have changed and a lot of the times Emperors, King of Swords type of energies don't like change. Oh, you can go to the skating ring now and not have to have a permission slip. Well, when I was in school, you had to have a permission slip, and that's how it's gonna be. And you're like, no, you don't have to have one. You just you could just pay and you go in. Something doesn't change. And so with this flexible, it's it's giving some type of Com compromise a successful one though because the three of wands is all about expansion this may even bring the two if this is your father's major whatever this is it may bring y'all closer together queen of wands What's behind that strength? You could be a Leo. Um, but the Queen of Wands, there's an energy of confidence. I don't know what this is, y'all. 
the hermit it's in the reverse it's letting loose it's a coming out of the hermit energy because in the, in the upright that's going into seclusion like just, this could be you going in your room not coming out for a while right so you and this person you want to go to the trip this person doesn't want you to go so you go upstairs you go in your room you're not talking to anybody that's in the upright in the reverse this is coming out okay and so with this little cage right here this person could have kept a close eye on you protectiveness but in the reverse because this person is going to be flexible you get to come out of something some of you guys could be a virgo you got aries virgo leo aquarius it don't matter the sign it's just energy people may even be shocked but i'm 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 getting like you're gonna be like this that type of shocked what like you can't believe it because this is somebody i'm telling you y'all when they say what they say they mean it so you'll know if this is your reading or not you'll know if you have someone in your um inner circle who is like this it's not gonna be for everybody but i was getting a real love family like because you know so if this is a dad the mom you the brothers the sisters could be like daddy you being unreasonable and this dad is like no <laughs> you being unreasonable but something happens and then there's this unfinished symphony what is that about um What a spirit, what a collective. The page of wands, this is good news. This is also inspiration. Maybe something happened with this emperor where they got inspired to be a little bit more flexible. I'm also getting an energy of this emperor seeing something that melts their heart just a little bit. Ooh, child, just, I'm talking about just a few. Just long enough for this person to say, okay, you can go. Maybe they get some type of reassurance that, hey, um, there's going to be five chaperones. Here's where we're going to be every hour on the hour. And here's a number that you can call any time of the day. If you want to talk to your daughter, here's a number that you can call. Here's the number at the hotel that we're going to be. Here's the number to the museum that we're going to. Here's the number to the park that we're going to be at. Maybe the person gets some reassurance and then they're like, okay, Alright. This is good news though. Okay. Yeah. The listen, y'all, the Queen of Cups is an emotional card. And the Page of Pentacles is learning something new. <laughs> maybe this person learned maybe this emperor learned something new. Okay? And it could just be a little piece of information. Like I just said, hey, um, uh, Here's an itinerary. This is where we're going to be. Boom, 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 boom. And yes, you can get in contact with your daughter anytime you want. Uh, I don't know. There's something new that this person learns. And the Queen of Cups is an emotional card. So whatever this is, it happens long enough for this person to just get some compassion. The Queen of Cups is a very compassionate energy. Y'all know the Queen of Cups is very loving, caring, compassionate, very giving. Okay. It could be a mother figure, this Queen of Cups. But I'm picking it up as more compassion. Now, I'm not picking it up as a person. It could be. What's this card? Wow. Six of Wands. I told you somebody going to be shouting to the heavens with happiness. This going to make somebody happy. And I also feel like this emperor, is, they're reluctantly saying, they're reluctantly changing their mind. But I feel like there's going to be, and it may be for the first time that this emperor feels like an inner peace in what they're getting ready to do. 
there's some type of compassion opening up this is beautiful it's it's like giving me because for some of you it's not just about you going to a trip but it was something that this emperor was very stern on There, there's the extra the ace of pentacles there's the extra okay you can go on a trip and you can stay another day you can go on a trip and hit 50 dollars and buy yourself something that ace of pentacles this is an offer there's the extra y'all look at the star card with the ten of cups and the sun come through spirit the, the sun card is the best card in tarot speaks of happiness and abundance the star card is all about healing something Maybe something is healed, bridging the gap or something like that, y'all. And with the Ten of Cups, it could be family. Okay, like I said, this could be someone's dad. But for others of you, this Ten of Cups is the co complete wish fulfillment. This is a successful change. I don't know what it is. But uh, somebody could be dealing with a Capricorn with the devil at the back. This is a successful change, man. So y'all have to take it how it's going to resonate in your life. I don't know what y'all was personally going through, but I'm telling you, somebody does. And it, it, it leads to victory, six of wands. And even this person might even get some... Uh, it's giving like public recognition. It might be some people might want to write about this or or if this is in your family. People are gonna be shocked that this person is doing this. And so this emperor might have people coming up to them. Man, what's done got into you? You know, something like that. Okay. Let's pull these green cards, see what comes out of here. Then we'll get a message from the higher self and then we'll close out. Tower in the reverse coming out, y'all. what it is i still have not figured out why this unfinished symphony is here something could have been going around and around and around but the 10 the 10 is the end so something could have been going on and on and on around and around that could be you wanting to go and this person not wanting you to go you know but there's some type of agreement and a successful agreement Ace of Pentacles, the Page of Wands, the Six of Wands, because someone learned some type of new information. And that could just be the fact that this person, maybe they thought they wouldn't be able to talk to you the whole time you was gone, or something like that. And so the Page of Pentacles could be this person learning, hey, no, you can have a number to everywhere we're going to be. This is where we're going to be hour on hour. It assures this person, okay, something like that. Michael, somebody could be, maybe your name is Michael or something. All right, let's see. Spirituality. You're being, this spirituality card came out, and that could be this Queen of Wands energy. Or the Queen of Cups, take how it resonates. Because the Queen of Cups is very intuitive too. But it says you're being called, I'm sorry, you're being guided to discover your own unique spiritual path at this time. Also, you may be called to become a spiritual advisor or a healer. Unfulfilled. Success will find you and designer. Again, you're being called to tune into your own individuality and express yourself. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah, and then beauty. This came out of my last reading. Embrace your unique style and own it. And let the world see who you really are. This success will find you. That's the six of wands. So I don't know how in the world 
Maybe you are un unfulfilled with something. This could look. Don't you like she in her room? Daddy won't let me go to the party, or daddy won't let me go on this trip. And then boom. I said a successful compromise or something like that, y'all. Why is this? Maybe you're into spirituality. Goals. Don't let the world lead you. Take the steering wheel and take control of your own life. This will be a good time to write down your goals and aspirations. So, like I said, this could be in any area of your life. Y'all take it how it's going to resonate. Reconsider a decision. Somebody could be reconsidering a decision here. And I feel like it's going to be successful. Explore your wants and needs and consider a change angelic help this is a time to trust in the universe the people you spend the most time with shape who you are um for some of you this is not a father and daughter this is just younger like a younger generation an older generation or just not seeing things there's a card in one of my decks that says people have their own unique path and challenges There's a blessing lining up for somebody. Stay positive and believe. But with the faith, this had to happen. To cre either create some type of change or have someone to see things a certain way or to build someone's strength. Something. This was destined to happen. Fated to happen. And it leads you to Treasure Island. For some of you, this is happening in the here and now. So y'all got to take it how it's going to resonate. There's also, because these, these cars and she, they look like photos to me. And this page of pentacles, this person is looking at, that pentacle could be a photo. They could have learned something new about a queen of cups this new new discovery or something y'all somebody could even be like chosen with the star card I could look at it like this too Let me close out, y'all. I'm so sorry. That could be why we saw the spirituality card. Let's close out. This is why we're getting in the last reading. It's time to sit down. Okay, play. Beloved one, it's time to set aside work for a while. Don't worry. We will oversee your responsibilities to their completion. That was in my last reading. I picked this energy up, but the card didn't come out. Okay? And um, open your heart. Then you will, re you will return to work with a renewed perspective and heightened energy. So this could have something to do with work. 
But then I also have this be willing to forgive here. Something could be happening with someone's base chakra. But it says choose only positive thoughts to describe your home, career, and finances. Your words determine your outcome. Yeah, I feel like this is what this person is discovering. That someone's an indigo. Remember I said somebody could be... If this is your dad, you might, there may be some forgiveness happening here. But this be willing to forgive. Some of you may have to eat different. Why? There's something here with spirituality, especially when I get this card right here. Okay, there could even be, it could, it's time for you to reward yourself. You've been giving a lot of yourself lately. Y'all watch my last reading. Why I say you giving, giving, giving it and not allowing nobody to pour into you. Okay, but this is that success, this yes card. Stay on your present path, it will take you very far indeed. Y'all, I'm so sorry. It's like, I can't finish my readings. I hate that. I would just say, this is good. This will be this will be a good thing, okay? Some of y'all can have a guide box. If you do, use it. I'm, I'm going to put these up. y'all hear my son screaming like that <coughs> all right y'all that's what i have till next time bye